Welcome back everybody. We are back for another tutorial, although this one might be slightly different than the others. Anyway, in today's video we are going to show you how I designed this tech page. As you already know, we just start with a blank page with just a simple nav bar. Here you can see, I've already prepared all the assets and I will leave it to you in the Figma file. So first I'll take the image and place it on the frame. Now create a rectangle about one third of the frame length. Fill it in black and change its fill from solid to gradient and do as I do. Then add a layer blur effect and put it at your preference. Write your first heading and create a rectangle over it. Place this rectangle over it and create a mass group. Duplicate this group and write your second heading. Place your button and create a rectangle with its color and add a layer blur effect and increase it until you can see the text. Place it under it and group them. Let's work on the second page. Create a frame and put it in black. Duplicate the mass group and write your new text. Create a rectangle, round it, and use the color. Give it a gradient white stroke and add a drop shadow effect. You can copy my setting. I just duplicate them and arrange them as I like. Create the first rectangle and make it slightly smaller by using both Shift and the Alt buttons. Place your image over it and hit the Mask button. You do the exact thing for the second rectangle. For the fourth, I designed this group, and I'm going to just put it over this rectangle. Lastly, create a circle, delete its fill, and add stroke with this pink color. Duplicate it several times by making it bigger. And change the opacity of each by making them more transparent from the exterior to the interior. Now we can add our text. Okay. Create a third frame and copy again the mask group. Let's go ahead and have some fun. Duplicate the first rectangle also, and delete everything except its shape. Add our first image over it and make a mass group. Create a rectangle and do the same thing you did in the first page to create that black gradient. Add your text and create one for each game. Add them on the page. Copy the first page and change its text and add the two controllers in it. And that's it. We can now work on the prototype. Now add each frame under each other by changing its i-axis value. For example, the second page will have i y axis of 1080 for mine. The third will have a y axis of 1080 times 2 and so on.
Once you're done, copy the frame and start make some change in it by changing the text y-axis value in a way to get them out of the mask. Change the button position and its opacity. And the same goes for the image too. Make a copy and start by changing the second page of the second copy. It's important to make the copy before making the change. Now on the third copy, select everything on the page except the nav bar and drag them up. After that, drag the second page by changing its eye axis to zero and do a similar process for the other page. By that, I mean you should reduce their eye axis value by 1080 make a copy before, and now I think you understand, make modification on the third page. Now you do the same process over and over until you're done. Now that everything is done, we can prototype. Add a after delay between the first and second frame with these setting. Link the button to the third frame with these setting. And link all the other page with a on drag setting just as I do. And there you go.